Okay, Desi. So I have to say I am a little confused about why they voted you out last night on Survivor. I mean, I get that they wanted to split the votes between you and Joe. That makes sense in case one of you had an idol. But during the tiebreaker, why did they unanimously keep him over you? Yeah, so my only insight um, and, and what I conceptualized in my head is that they felt like long term I was the bigger threat and, and for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, Joe had sort of proven himself to immunity challenges back to back that he wasn't necessarily uh, a challenge threat. He had not performed well kind of in back to back challenges. Whereas, of course, I won the first one and then was final three in, in the second. So I think in that regard, they felt like later on, Joe's definitely going to lose. Desi could possibly keep winning, and then we can't get rid of her. Um, secondly, I think if they look way down the line, and that's what you have to do in Survivor at the final tribal council, I think they felt that Joe had pissed off enough people that they could maybe sit next to him at the final three, and people dislike him so much that they just would not vote for him. Um, whereas I think at this point in the game, I hadn't pissed off enough people and enough people liked me that if by chance I made it to the final three as well, um, that I might possibly get those. Um, so that's mm. kind of what I've conceptualized as the reason why they were gunning for me last night as opposed to Joe. How bummed were you on a scale of like one to ten? <laughs> okay, so here's here's also the thing. is I, I sort of had a feeling I was going home. Um, mm. We had speculated about the fact that they – or or maybe they had already told Mike. I can't really remember the sequence of events. But they were splitting votes between me and Joe. And so really the harder thing I was dealing with was in my head, um, and I had had some confessions too that weren't aired. I knew or at least had a feeling that I could vote for Joe and secure that I was safe this vote. Um, I had a very good sense of that. The harder issue I was having was that – I, for one, am a very loyal person and, and not deceitful at all in my everyday life and thought I could turn that off for the game of Survivor. But we had gotten to a point in Survivor where I had had so many conversations with so many people who then it turned out that they were lying to my face. Uh, that Joe was literally the only person left on the island who I felt like was telling me the truth. Um, mm -hmm. I felt like he was loyal to me. He wasn't going to write my name down. And... Even outside of the world of Survivor, I knew that I'd have to reintegrate into a life where I need to trust that people aren't lying to me all the time. And I felt like had I turned my back on him, I might never be able to trust people again. And I know that seems like so big and so over the top, but that's really the moral dilemma I was having. Um, hmm. So I was bummed, but I expected it. And I also was very aware that I could have prevented it, which I think was the tougher thing, was that I couldn't make myself do the one thing that would have kept me safe in the game, and that's writing Joe's name down. Um, Joe is rubbing a lot of people the wrong way, especially mm -hmm. Ben and Chrissy. They're, they're, they're kind of vocal, especially in last night's episode. Um, at the end of the day, do you think Joe's gameplay and, and attitude is, is kind of the reason the healers are dwindling in numbers? No, I don't know that. I, I think they would have been gunning for the healers regardless because they felt as if our bond was too strong or whatever. Um, I mean, I, I think if they were that pissed off about Joe, they would have gotten Joe, Joe gone this episode, right? Like that was, he was mm -hmm. an easy target to vote. So yeah. they're annoyed by Joe. But the other thing about Joe is that Joe is open, like, I mean, you don't have to try to figure out what he's thinking because he's going to tell you what he's thinking. So I think there's also a little bit of, like, we can't stand him. He's getting on my nerves, but he's not a wild card. We know exactly where where he's going because he's telling us who he's going to vote for, and he's voting for that person. So um, they found him annoying, but you can't help but respect or at least uh, appreciate the fact that he's usually being pretty damn honest. Lauren found a special advantage that earned her the right to not vote this time and get two votes at a future date. So was was anything fishy to you about the fact that there were 11 people but only 10 votes cast? <sighs> no. Admittedly and embarrassingly, I did not even realize it in that moment. Um, and I think it would have been easier to predict had it been five votes Desi, five votes Joe, no votes left. That's very clear, like, oh, that adds up to ten. That doesn't make sense. But because the right. votes were so over the place, 
one, I was still very confused as to why the healers didn't vote together the way we had discussed voting together. Like, I was under the understanding that we were all voting for Lauren, and then nobody but me voted for Lauren. So I was even too shocked by that and also too tired and sleep-deprived and, and not counting – to even count the votes and realize that only 10 votes had been cast. Mm. And speaking of Lauren, we have a fan question from Mindy in Winlock. She wants to know what was the, the reason behind the Lauren vote? I think we felt like she long-term could be a threat in the game. Um, I wanted Ben out. Mike didn't – I wanted Mike – I wanted Ben or Chrissy out. And Mike didn't want Ben nor Chrissy out. Um, so Lauren was really the next available person. Uh, I feel like Lauren is not getting enough airtime for how one good of a player she is and also how charming of a person she is. Lauren is fun to be around. You can't help but like her because she's funny as hell. Um, and so – and I was also a little bit annoyed or, or at least um, upset by Lauren because we had had a conversation about working together last vote. Um, and I felt like she betrayed me last vote. So uh, I think that sort of explains the Lauren vote. And you won the very first individual immunity challenge of season 35. Huge congratulations. I, I imagine that was one of the best moments for you personally out there on the island. Is that right? Oh, my gosh. It was so exciting. Yeah. I wish it would have come with, like, a meal as well. That would have been even better. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, it was – it's certainly – cool to be able to say like hey i won the first individual like no matter what happens from this day forward first i know i'm not the first post merge vote out and we have sort of calculated like you know who will be on jury who won't be on jury so we had an inkling that the first person voted out post merge would not be on jury um so it's kind of like my theory that hey like i think i might be on the jury uh but also these are pretty sweet bragging rights for the rest of my life yeah um there was a, a very interesting physical alter, altercation at camp as people were wrestling each other to try to dig up this hidden idol. What was going through your mind as you were watching the scene? Uh, like these freaking idiots. No, I mean, <laughs> of course, it, 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 I mean, it, it went on so much longer than was even shown on TV. So, and eventually it was just like, why is this still happening? So initially it made sense. Like, obviously there's an idol. Everybody's digging for an idol. Let's all just pile on top of each other and dig for this idol. Um, but then it got to a point where it's like, why are you guys still digging? Because there's obviously, like, there's, they dug the flag up. There's obviously nothing still down there at this point. Um, and there was a point where, like, you know, Chrissy's on top of Cole. Like, he's he's like a little toy horse. And it just got to be too much where I was just like, this is ridiculous and somebody needs to stop this foolishness. Um, so initially it was exciting. You know, some exciting, some excitement to camp life for sure. But then it got to a point where it was like, okay, let's let's move on and, and figure out how to, like, what are the next steps after this instead of you all just right. continuing to. And it was, it's, it's so fun. It's so fun to watch on TV knowing that Ryan had it the whole time, and so the fight was really it, it, there was no point. Exactly, which makes it even more ridiculous how far Chrissy took it trying to keep Cole from digging when she knew all along. <laughs> she, um, back on day one, when you first heard the season would be split between heroes, healers, and hustlers, what was your initial reaction, and were you proud to be named a healer? Um, I was proud to be named a healer. Um, I think that was only further glorified by how well we got along as the healer tribe initially. I mean, it didn't hurt that we were winning everything. Um, so that was that. In, in that regard, it was great to be a healer. Um, but also, we did, we really did just get along. We worked well as a team together on all challenges. And really, back at camp, we were having a great time. Um, back at camp, like that's what the world doesn't see is like the fun moments we had to get together. But honestly, for the first nine days, like I felt like I was at summer camp with some friends, and we were just mm-hmm. like camping outside and having a good time. Um, so. I think it certainly set a good tone for the game that I wasn't miserable early on in the game. But it, it, it set a tone that, like, oh, hey, I can live outside and I'm not going to die because that was all super unfamiliar territory for me. Right, and you guys won a lot of challenges early on. You didn't go to tribal until, I think, week four or something. Yeah, until um, until that uh, first walk, the first time I went to tribal. And so final question, Desi, now that you're a member of the jury – 
what specifically are you looking for in terms of what type of person you'll vote for in the end? So for me, I think gameplay is most important. Um, it's really easy to get very, and even at Final Tribal, like people got very personal in their questions. So it's really easy to make this personal, but for me it's more important to make it about the game and gameplay. So I'm looking for someone who played a good game, but secondly can articulate their moves in the game and own up to their gameplay and say exactly what happened um, and exactly why they should be the sole survivor instead of the other two people that they chose to take with them to the final three mm. or two. Awesome. Well, great talk, talking to you today, and we will see you at the reunion show in a month from now. See you then.